everything we had, we sold. <clears throat> now when I say everything, let me specify. So we kept them closed. I, I definitely have more clothes than Stephanie. <sighs> Probably because a lot of my stuff I have is military related. So I just, <clears throat> I got rid of 99% of the military stuff, but I have a couple big uniforms, have a bunch of business suits uh, that I'm just not gonna sell because someone has to be like the same size, whatever, to kind of like, you know, be able to get their monies out of it. So it's just best me to put it in storage for later on in life, if I ever need a suit or whatnot. But uh, so some of the stuff is going in storage. Some storage we have like some family heirlooms that we're just not gonna part with. Uh, our dinner table, it's like a nice farm table. But that's really it, man. Not much stuff. So we still have to make another pass uh, through all the belongings that we currently have to make that one last final purge to become minimalist and minimalist not in the the sense of textbook like you have to meet these steps to be minimalist <clears throat> just in the aspect of deciding whether or not the shit that we want to keep and what we don't want to keep so now that we have our apartment emptied out we're going to utilize one of the bedrooms and basically lay out all of our shit so we're in the van we're only taking a two month trip at first to kind of like work the kinks out uh, we're gonna come back for the holidays to spend time with family so we'll we'll be able to know like what we use what we didn't use so when we go out for our next long haul uh, we can downsize even more and or acquire the things that are absolute essentials that we need on the way that we didn't have in the first place so i definitely have to say that it's a uh it's just large large relief off my shoulders like the amount of stress that I've had these past I don't know two weeks has really been minimum it's it's all it's a different type of stress right so it's a type of stress that I we self-induced but I have no exterior stressors even the shit that's important like for instance I finished my college degree and I have to utilize GI Bill to pay for my rating course I'm not, I'm not gonna come out of pocket 3500 bucks I don't give a shit. Like, I'm not stressed out about it. I just, I'm just gonna wait its course. The VA said it's gonna take 30 days. Well, guess what? I'm gonna wait th my 30 days and kind of figure it out. Um, so all this stress is like shit that we're putting on ourselves. Like, we have to be out of our apartment, you know, a certain day. We have to, that's really it. You know, like, it's like the only hard time we have in life. It's like, we, had, we gotta be out of our apartment by the end of the week. So, YOLO, bro, who cares? Shit buff out. But the, uh, <clears throat> it's just been different experience altogether like we've literally purged like 90% of the shit that we have owned and crazy thing is is I've been living in Durham the past like six months uh, you know interning with a badass company Softleet and before that we had a 23 2500 square foot home three bedroom home fucking just parts of the house I never even used but I had to have shit Right, I had to put stuff in all, all that room, and uh, it was just like, why? It was a po it was pointless. <clears throat> and so when we sold that house, and then we ended up moving to Durham, so like three hours, two and a half, three hours away. You know, my wife Steph, she got rid of a lot of shit. Uh, so we made like two iterations of downsizing. And now we're on this last iteration and it's just been so, so amazing. It's, it's the next level. <clears throat> and I feel bad. I don't, I don't feel bad for people who have things, but I feel bad for having things that I thought had value. But what's value when it's just sitting there, right? Like the days of burying treasure, those are fucking over, man. Like I want to... I want to drown myself in my jewels, right? I don't want to just like have them in a shadow box. I want to rock those bad boys. So seeing all those, you know, jewels, those treasures that I've had just kind of sitting there collecting dust, I'm like, why? You know, some of the greatest things was seeing some of these little bitty kids that came to this garage sale and like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, look, all these paints and, and boards to paint on that I could use and I'm so excited about it. Shit that I've just been sitting on, like a selfish individual. And it's so amazing to know that they're gonna go to good use. And the other stuff that we donated, we know it's gonna go to individuals and families in need that you know don't have things themselves. So that that's awesome. Here I am just sitting on all this shit that I don't I don't need, I don't want it. 
but there's someone out there who actually does need it. So I'm glad it's definitely gonna go to use. Um, but yeah, going minimalist has been quite the adventure. We're uh, super stoked to uh, what comes next, so stay tuned.